yo what's good probati back with another video this is just gonna be a drill beat tutorial um i do always like to switch it up you know i get bored of making the same genre after a little while as usual i'm gonna just let you guys hear the first part of the beat and then we're gonna break into all the details <laughs> Right, so excuse all the crackling there, my CPU is clearly struggling to keep up. Um, but other than that, yeah, I just want to say this beat is at 140 BPM. Let me show you with vocals. So that I find it really helpful as well sometimes to just put an artist over it. Fivio's voice on top. Yeah, so that's just like a little example with um, some vocals on top. So it really just brings it together. Let's start with the melody first, a very simple melody. This piano is from Nexus called The Clock. So this is really reminiscent of old school, like UK drill, grind beats. Very simple, two, three notes. Here you can even see I muted out some notes, especially for the intro. It just needed to be very, very simple. So we've got a couple variations of this closed grind here. So we've got this variation here as well, as you can see it says hashtag two. This variation has more notes included. So yeah, that's what that that's as it's entering into the into the first verse. Okay, so then we get into the next half of the close grand, which is now going into the lower octaves. So you can see this is what I just played you now. The first eight bars. And then this is what I'm now gonna play you the next eight bars, which is this. So you can see we've got varying octaves just to add variation as we're going throughout the beat. We've got different variations playing depending on what part of the song we're coming into. So I'll say the verse, the intro we're starting off with the lightest piano, getting to the verse, we thicken it up with some extra notes here with the first eight bars. Then we get into the second part of the like, verse leading into the chorus or like a, a break in the song section. So where it gets a bit empty so we go back to the original intro and then we come back again with the deep chords later on in the chorus so on to the next instrument now we've got another closed grand which is just a following melody over here so yeah that's the second counter melody then we have a flute that comes in around here so yeah that's the flute um you can barely hear that flute in the mix it's just very much so in the background 
Then we have this up next. So that's just a vocal from Arcade. Um, already within Arcade, it comes with like different voice settings or whatnot. So, so we've got the hype up a little bit, got a bit of reverb going on there. And then on the mixer track as well, let's see what I did to that. So we've got some parametric EQ. Cut out the lows, cut out a bit of the highs so that it is so it's not sticking out too much in the beat. Got some extra reverb on this as well. Yeah. Got a fruity filter, which I don't think I used. Yeah, and that's all I've got on that as well. We might have some extra delays and stuff that I'll show you later that comes on with like automation clips here and there. Then we've got this vocal which is just an audio track so this is the same as this, the main vocal from arcade i just um exported it as an audio file uh to do that i literally just left click consolidate track from track start yeah and then you just want to press cut remainder and then you just want to press start and that's going to render this track and it'll pop up here and then after that happened i literally pitched it all the way down and then um yeah and then i also put some effects on this so i put uh well first of all i cut out the low end here and then I have another parametric EQ where I also cut out the low end and dips a frequency that sounded bad. So I just want to show you the bad frequency, see if you look can hear it as well. Anyways, I don't know if you can hear it, but I remember hearing it and it was like really harsh. Then we just got like a reverb on top of that as well. And yeah, it's just sitting in the back of the of the beat. So all the melody together. So that's literally all of that. And then um, I just want to show you what's on my mix of tracks for the piano. So parametric EQ cut out the lows cut out the highs so that especially the lows because it was making the mix a bit muddy and messy so i'll show you before <laughs> cutting out uh, the highs as well just gives it that more like retro vibe like that more like dirty grungish kind of dark vibe that drill has i think then i put some reverb on it and I also put a stereo enhancer on the piano as well. And that's pretty much it. But yeah, I forgot about this. I also have this random arcade kind of phrase going on. So you can see the effects i've got that on got this all of that on that vocal and i just thought this vocal sounded cool especially um in conjunction with the other vocals is just kind of when the other vocals come in as well it's just like a vibe and then you've also got this vocal here the air hair vocal that comes in Just background noise and again on that I've just got some reverb you know cut on well, didn't even do anything on the frequencies but I got some reverb and I got some delay you can just see my delay settings just fills in the empty space 
and yeah makes it fade in and out seamlessly okay let's start with the drums let's start on the kick velocity all the way up then we got the snare now with the snare i've got um i've got the echo on so without the echo with the echo and I've got the echo panned to the left then we've got the snare velocity all the way up then we got a bongo the bongo also has the echo on I believe you can see that's on right there so the bongo is literally following the same pattern as the counter snare and then we've got um a perk what's this sound like some mario kind of sound or something like that yeah so now we're on the 808 what i like to do with my 808s to get the right key I usually have it up an octave and i pencil it in like this like i said i pitch it up and then pitch it back down and then we have a second 808 over here that kind of just gives it that really grimy grimy uk drill vibe right here and what i did to to get that left and right panning literally go on here note pan and i literally just panned the individual notes left and right and you can see some sliders on on each note as well so the note starts here but it slides down to here so that's why you see two notes on top of each other so yeah that's how you make your slides really you just want to have your main note and then say this is the second note but to have it actually slide because if you just have the second note and no note on top the slide isn't going to play so you see it doesn't play so you need that note on top so that it slides down to that note that you want it to play and that's how i make my slides and pan my 808s and if you want to know like these are extra grimy grimy 808s but you can pretty much do this with any 808 you have like if you want your 808s to really pop so with my kick, literally soft clipper, and it all the way up. And then as for the 808, the main 808 should I say, this is the, the mixer settings for that. I've got an overdrive on it. This just brings it forward a little bit. Then we've got a soft clipper as well on here. Again, give it that punch and that's it. No parametric, no chorus. And let me play you the airway with nothing so you see how much more body that gives it same thing with the kick so yeah that soft clip on that's the secret yeah to, to good mix nicely mixed kicks and 808s this is usually what I do. If you've got a solid airway, you might need to, might not need to overdrive. Just mess around with it because usually what I do is I do this. Like usually, all I need to do to my air to weight is literally just boost the low end like this and gradually boost it as well towards the end so that it's like zippy. That zippy sound stays there. But it just wasn't working with this 808 which is a bit of trial and error so i just decided and sometimes i like to test out the chorus as well like the chorus sometimes give it gives the 808 a really cool sound like that really zippy zippy sound that i sometimes hear in people's 808s but those two wasn't really sitting well so i decided to go for the overdrive and the soft clipper which kind of worked better i felt like the eq was just making the 808 not sound as clean like it was boosting the bass but it was making it muddy which is why i usually use it so but it's what it was doing this time so i just had to go with the overdrive and the soft clipper so that i could get that loudness but without it sounding muddy and messy but like a clean loud 808 if you know what i mean 
Okay, so on the um on my side o a o eight on this one we've got a uh, this distortion. So the preset I've got here is some oomph and then what i did to that preset is i reduced it so it wasn't too much and then i've also got a chorus which i seemingly didn't use i've got that same overdrive and soft clipper so the, it's the distortion that really gives this 808 its different kind of more aggressive sound and then next we have another snare that just comes in velocity all the way up on your drums for that nice punching kick we've got a cold snare so this is like um And then, of course, you just want to be adding in your risers and so on for added effect. So we've got this, the pop smoke. Then we have this as well. Also, I have this other one shot sound from a pack. that just plays at the beginning of most of the phrases just got a little reverb on that and it just really sets the tone every single bar like it just really sets that airy dark kind of grungy drill vibe so yeah as for other effects let's go through them so we've got a love filter in the beginning love filter on the master and yeah this is just to add effect in it like and I believe this is the low pass that we're going with. Now you also might be wondering what is that cool reversing kind of effect that I'm hearing there. Yeah. So let me go through that as well. Okay, so the first thing we have, we have a half speed on the close grand. And that literally just makes it sound all deep and so without the half speed it'll just be sounding like this versus with the half speed so right now i don't know what this gross beat or that gross beat is for but these two right here is what's important so this is what's giving you the reverse so on the main track we've got these two gross beats right here so let me first show you without the effect. So it'll just sound like this. Versus with the effect. So first thing we have, we've got um, basic number eight, which is just like a... So basic eight is the reverse at the end. And then the second gross beat, is the thing dying basically which is basic number 10 so that's it like zooming down dying to give it that whole dying then reversing and coming back effect this is just some delays on the other vocal sounds so and then we have that reversed and dying effect coming in again here So towards the end, we've got the delay playing. We've got that love filter that comes in on the last two things to make it kind of sound like it's fading out, going underwater again, replicating the intro. And then we've got these two gross beats here, which I believe is supposed to be having some kind of, of effect on this arcade, but I can't remember what it was that it was doing. I think it was just glitching out the vocals somehow. But yeah, other than that, that's the end of this beat and this tutorial. Let me know what you think, if this has helped you at all in making drill beats. Let me just say one more thing about like drill patterns, because I feel like I should just mention that. But drill patterns generally look like this every two steps. One, two, one, two, then it's one step, then it's repeating again. One, two, one, two, one step, 
then a repeat again one two one two one step so literally that is the basis of all drill patterns you take that incorporate it switch up anyhow you want in your beats to be different and yeah that's it other than that thank you for watching and i'll catch you lot in the next one